What's up, my babies? It's All Hustle No Cap. Today, I'm gonna be giving y'all three free ways to advertise your photo booth business and get more bookings and more events. I need y'all to go ahead and boost my channel up real quick. Give me all them likes, give me the subscribes, hit the notification bell, all that. And don't forget to follow me on IG. So without further ado, we about to get right into this advertising sauce right here. Let's go. So my first way to advertise would be to start you with Google My Business account. Google My Business is a free tool that they use to connect local people with local businesses. Now that's important because you wanna make sure that the people that are finding you are people that are in your service area that aren't too far that you can actually get to because if people find you in there like in another state, it's not gonna be helpful to you. By adding the address to Google Business, you automatically get found in local searches by people in your area. So for example, if somebody typed in photo booths near me in Google, you would be more likely to pop up since you were in that local radius. One of the best benefits of Google business is that you automatically show up before most of the search results. If you ever notice that when you type something in Google, the local searches show up first. You could think of your Google business profile as like a Facebook page. So you wanna make sure you fill it up with a lot of good pictures, a lot of good content, videos and stuff that people will be interested in if they come to look for your business. Also, Google business has a review system, but don't abuse it. Don't try to do your own reviews. Google is smart. It will penalize you for that shit. Maybe when you first start, you could have a cousin or something give you a good review just to boost your shit a little bit, but don't go overboard with it. So every time you do an event and the people that books you are obviously happy, go ahead and ask them to leave your review on Google and that'll help boost your shit and help people find you in the future. Google also really values those reviews so the more reviews you get the better and guess what everybody who got a business doesn't have a google business account so just by setting one up you putting yourself ahead of a big chunk of people who don't even know about that so set yourself up a google business asap the second free place to advertise is instagram we live in a dope ass time bro networking has never been easier i'm gonna show y'all a couple ways you can use ig as a marketing tool to get your business out there so the best way to use ig for marketing is through hashtags so let's say you live in Atlanta and you want to look up Atlanta party planners. You would just look up that hashtag and it gives you a list of all the Atlanta party planners that use the hashtag. And you want to start locating people and start sending them messages and introducing yourself and letting them know what you do and how you can be of value to them. Here's a copy of one of the messages that I sent out to people. I also put a copy of this in the description so you can copy and paste it and you can send this message and help get business, but it usually gets a pretty good response. At the very least, even if they don't respond, they'll probably follow you. And if you're making good content and having good videos, they might end up booking you later. You can also look at the other hashtags that they got for other ideas to find people to network with. And I'm gonna also put a list of hashtags in the description that I use to help find people to network with. The goal is to find as many event, party, and wedding planners as possible because these people can get you events left and right if you network it right. You just got to use a little bit of finesse. So by using all these hashtags and finding different promoters and event planners and stuff, it'll get you a lot of people to reach out to. And the more people you reach out to, the better chance you have of getting booked. Now, the other way I'm using Instagram to generate more bookings is through the hashtags I use when I post my own content. I want you to be real conscious of the hashtags you're using when you post your content and make sure that they all reflect what people would be searching for if they're looking for a 360 photo booth in your local area. I'm about to put a whole list of hashtags that y'all can use for your photo booth content to help people find you in the description. So just check that out after this video. The third way is to make some flyers and pass them out as much as you can. Now this is kind of free because you can make your own flyers if you know graphic design and you got a printer. If you want to get some professional flyers printed, this is the site I use Next Day Flyers because they generally be the cheapest as far as shipping and printing out your flyers. They give you 4x6 full color on both sides with the UV gloss and you get 250 of them for 40 bucks. So that's a real good deal if you're looking to save some money. Now you can do some of these other options like the Next Business Day or Ready Today shipping, but I always try to keep it cheap and do the $39.95 option for myself. And if you got, you know, your graphic design together, you can just upload your file straight here to where it says upload file and they'll print and process it for you. But if you need help with graphic design, feel free to hit me up on IG. I do graphic design. I can put you a flyer together in a matter of minutes. So just let me know. When you get your flyers, make sure you put them all over the place. Make sure you put them at gas stations, restaurants, basically anywhere to let you put them. Just make sure you got your flyer and your name and your number everywhere. But even more important than that, make sure that you bring your flyers to your events because every single time I've done an event, people ask if I had a card or a flyer and I've gotten so many bookings just by having flyers with me at the event. I would say never do an event without your flyers because you'll end up missing on money because somebody's going to always ask you for your information and giving them your phone number is cool, but a card or a you know, flyer says a lot more. I hope these tips help y'all boost your business and get more bookings because you know I'm trying to see y'all ball. Now, if y'all found this video helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell to help the channel grow. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on IG. I want to thank y'all again so much for watching. Peace.